one of the filmmakers that I always wondered about, like, where has he been? Uh, because he made some big movies in the late 80s, well, big movies, movies with big stars. Um, Kiss of the Spider Woman and Ironweed, and yeah. Play in the Fields of the Lord. Hector Babenko is the director's name, and uh, he passed away last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just rewatched Ironweed, which months ago, which has to be one of the most depressing experiences you can never <laughs> you could ever have watching a movie. I, I really think that that had a, that and the double the double thing of that movie largely failing at the box office, even though it was uh, admired by some, and uh, and at the play at the, in the fields of the Lord, which I haven't even seen. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, uh, I, and I don't think a lot of people have seen it, but I think that that really kind of killed his career here. Uh, that was he, a big movie def- Which is a shame, because, because if you just take Kiss of the Spider Woman and Ironweed, uh, I mean, his actors were nominated for Oscars. I mean, mm-hmm. he, he made, uh, mm-hmm. which meant he made Oscar caliber material. You know who's yeah. great in Ironweed is Tom Waits. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's terrific in it, yeah. Oh, God. Anyway, I mean, I, I like, I, I love Ironweed. I think it's, I think it's a very good movie. It's got a great script and uh, and three terrific performances and Nicholson Streep and Waits, and also Carol Baker is very good in it as as Nicholson's wife. Mm-hmm. Uh, I uh, um, I still think his best movie is uh, one of his Brazilian movies called Pichote, P I X O T E, which is kind of the. Um, are you talking about the one Brigi- from? Are you talking about the one from Brazil? Yeah, it's it was done in eighty one. Uh, oh it's my kind god, of that, a, that movie that movie dramatically affected my life. I couldn't. Yeah. I still remember parts of that. That was you yeah, know, I, I tell people to see that film. You've got to see that film. I don't know. Have you have you guys seen the film? Other than Dean yeah, and myself? Yeah, no, no, no. We no. This, you know, when this guy died last week, I mean, I like that play at the Field of the Lords. I think that's actually. That was a good movie. Um, I mean, it's a great Tom Berenger performance, um, and just a very good movie and a very good Peter Matheson book. But no, this guy was a real director. I mean, there's no denying oh, yeah. that. I mean, he. I mean, this guy was a real filmmaker. You know, Pichot is a movie that actually, you know, it, it's very much like you can make comparisons to uh, to Louis Bunuel's uh, Los Alvados from the '50s, a movie mm-hmm. that a lot of people mm-hmm. hold in high regard. Uh, including me, and also uh, much later, uh, City of God, the Fernando Morales uh, yeah. movie, uh, and uh, Pichot actually was filmed in in those streets of Brazil that are so that are incredibly dangerous, and actually had as its lead uh, a young boy that was actually killed on those streets later on. Oh my God! I didn't much, know that. Much of much of the same kind of violence that is portrayed in the movie. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, he's, uh, you know, Pichot, I think, still stands as Babinko's, you know, great masterpiece. Well, you know what? The, the man made you feel something. I mean, how many movies now, and Dean, Dean and I have talked about this, and I'm sure you guys have as well. How many films do you see that actually, when you leave the theater, have made you feel something, no matter what it is? They, they seem to be afraid to do that now. 